Hello YouTube, how's everybody doing? Well, today uh, we're gonna go on the uh, Aerial Rider Kepler. I have this bike since July 13. Today is August 3rd, August 2nd. So basically almost, well, a month, almost two months, right? And uh, uh, it's been great. The bike, I got about 298, so about 300 miles on it. So again, this is time to for kind of short review how I feel about the bike. The bike has been fantastic. I love it. Okay, and uh, this has been great bike. So let's go right along and see. All right. Okay. So this is a uh, past one. The battery is about sixty-four percent. So okay, it's been great. I've been uh, riding on uh, dual battery since I got it, and I, I modified in about a day or two later after I got it. So it's a uh, forty miles. It's been great. The performance, I love it. Uh, I highly recommend it for you guys to do the same if you like to increase your range and no range anxiety. Okay, uh, the bike ride well, stable. Uh, this is past one. Like I say, you say people complain that the bike is uh, too strong, too fast for past one. See, I'm going nine miles per hour. You can, uh, you know, better it. You don't have to uh, do anything like that. But yeah, I got, I got lots of good stuff to say about it. I couldn't, I couldn't complain about anything. So that's no problem at all. Even, you know. Right here, so it's all right along here. See how things go. Okay. Uh, let me get out of the road here and I'll show them speed and everything. See that you can go from this is to still pass one. You can get faster if you want. The, this bike can pedal up to 36 miles, 37 miles, or 35 miles, something between that in the mid 30, and you still pedal it. It's designed, well designed. It had a 52 uh, chain ring and 11 teeth in the rear, but I know I said it's uh, at uh, gear six, which is uh, 13 teeth. So 52, 13, about four gear as you calculate. That's pretty fast. Okay, this two pass one. All right, let's go get out here. Yep, it rides very well, and this is very stable. The chalk, everything worked. The, the 26 by 4 is awesome for off road. It's awesome. This thing, it clings to the road, no problem at all. I have no complaint at all. Hydraulic E350 work as it's supposed to be. No question at all. Oops, hold on, guys. I think I need to put on a GPS so it's uh, way better. Hold on. <laughs> Let me put my uh, cell phone GPS here. Okay. Uh, hold on. 
Okay. Okay. All right, back in business. So I get my GPS on. There you go. Alright guys, so as you can see, you know, it's pretty much, it's an awesome bike. I can't say anything about it. You know, I mean, uh, it's a red light, so we're gonna wait. Um, yeah, if you guys, uh, any question, concern, please drop me the line below and you can ask, answer your question. Uh, we would love to answer. Okay, as you can see, uh, I got, so, uh, 
Is it worth it to buy? Yes, absolutely. If you're looking for e-bike, this is the one. I, I don't get paid by area ride anything, but uh, I just give you my personal usage, my personal experience with it, and how I use it. It got about 300 miles now, yeah, 301 now, you can see. And the GPS and the, uh, the screen match, so it's great. Um, yeah, top speed 37, and you can feather at the uh, first gear, first pass, pulling like 9 miles, 8 miles, what leisure, the ride, what do you want to, like where I am I'm doing. Okay. So what, what is your sweet spot, mile per hour? Uh, I ride about 26 miles, I think that's the best riding, cruising speed get to work back from work whatever you want to do anything above that it seemed like a rush you know what I mean for an e-bike <laughs> but you can see that I already did the 37 miles per hour for you guys you know anything so the 26 might be about this 24 that's pretty fast for e-bike see that 24 miles you can get things on quick and go commute doing what you want commute quick and the brake is very very good handling well the chain and everything works the shock suspension uh, I add the uh, suspension seat post in there you get one from Amazon like 30 bucks I have links on in my previous video and also the seat I use a wheat cup uh, Medicus Air because it fits me well, it works on me. I feel great about my butt. <laughs> so yeah, the, some people use Cloud9 or the big, big ass uh, seat, whatever you want to do. Just make sure when you sit and ride like this for a while, if you feel comfortable, go for it. You know? Yeah. And um, I think this is probably the best, better than Magic Cycle for sure for the price. You see what, $17.99 Magic Sky, what, $20.99, $20.49, something like that? For $7.50 what? $52 wall. And it's only go like what, uh, 28, 28 miles? Or oh, oh, you pedal hard 30 miles, but this one 37, 36. And no comparisons. And, uh, and more expensive than this one too. Also, what I want to buy in uh, this range that I can think of? Not many. I can't think of anything else. Electrics? No, don't buy it. You can't match this guy. Uh, on the area rider lineup, maybe uh, Super Sunny 3 for how much? 3,000 something? For to get 30 miles? Well, no, you can't. Uh, right? Uh, probably the better than this would be Onyx RCR or Onyx CTY2, but the price is way over 4,000 in that price. I accept the CTY 3699 plus tag, but why, you know? But those bikes go above 40 miles per hour but still when you, you buy you can use 23M it's too small for those bikes you gotta get the more expensive version which is like 40 and 1M it cost you about 5,000 5, all said and done you know I know it's worth it it's great but you know if you guys on budget and you on e-bike I think this area right is clever you know
Okay. Traffic. All in all. You know, to be honest, I very prefer this bike over Saron's if you have. I mean, I, you know, you can't compare this bike to Saron, right? Because the price is probably totally different, different class. That bike is a dirt bike. But, you know, you cannot ride Saron in the sidewalk all the time. <laughs> and they're cracking down on very bad right now. For those of you who have no pedals. But you know, I'm all in New York, it's big, but here in Florida, I hardly see Saron around, but a few, you know, but uh, it's your choice. You want to spend that much money, it, it's different, it's a different class, different. and nothing you take away from that, those five, but if you want to spend that much money, it, you know, uh, but this one, that's all you need to do is add the battery, and you got 36, 37 miles, it's pretty fast, as you can see. No problem at all. Alright guys, I'm gonna pretty much sign off from this video and then uh, see you in the next video. If you guys have any comment concerns just please drop me a line, okay? Thank you very much for watching and peace out.